everybody, it's Hannah at the Doodlebug in Jasper, Indiana, and welcome to our What's New at the Doodlebug. So today what we've got for you, we got in an order from Photoplay. So we've got new stuff from Photoplay and a few reorders from Photoplay. And then continuing with my goal of um, one box out of the back room each week, we have some fun things from the vault to show you as well. So the vault is also known as my back room which is full of products that um, never made it to the floor, classes that I signed up for and never completed. So I've got um, product from that or classes that I plan to do and they just, they didn't hold and I've got extra stuff of. So got a little bit of that as well. So hey everybody, got a lot of people jumping on. So um, this past weekend was prom for the boys, which was super, super great, but it was also a trade show. Um, and I have crazy like fear of missing out going on so I have been watching all of the manufacturers pages and some fun things that they are coming out with so make sure you watch our website and your email for lots of pre-orders that we will be posting soon a couple things I've already got ordered brand new doodlebug doodlebug did a cat line and a dog line and some new kind of basic colors so I've got that all coming, so be sure to watch the pre-order part of our website so you can get those orders turned in or just check out what's coming in. Um, also, 49 and Market. 49 and Market did a new Spectrum line, which is, um, so the last Spectrum line was bright colors, but kind of more, uh, it was sorbet, so kind of you know, pastel-y. This one here is, I think it's called Gardenia, but they are bright and bold colors. So very similar, but in much bolder colors. So they've got, and it's a huge line. So they've got that coming out as well as two new solids, a real pretty teal and also a purple. So I've got all that ordered as well. So we've got to work to get that up on the website for you guys. But just so you know, I am getting all of those. Um, Simple Stories, oh my gosh. So Simple Stories has, I think, four lines coming out, a camping line, an everyday line. They have um, kind of a heritage kind of feeling line with lots of taupes, blacks, browns. Um, and then they also did wood. They added to their wood line and some new um, basic colors. So I've got all that coming for you guys too. That order has already been placed. Oh, Coco Vanilla, so they were not at the trade show, but that is one I have been wanting to order for you guys for a while, and it's a beautiful paper company, but out of Australia. So that one um, is a little bit different, you know, with tariffs and shipping it in and, and going through all that kind of stuff, but placed my first Coco Vanilla order. Super excited about that, and um, that is for their newest release. I did just post a little teaser of that here on Facebook, and that is supposed to ship, uh, start shipping around April 11th from Australia. So that'll take a little bit to get here. So let's look for that kind of end of April, 1st of May. So lots and lots of great fun stuff coming in to the store very, very soon. So um, until then, let's check out what was new though this month from Photoplay. All right, so we're gonna start with some reorders from Photoplay first. So this was one of their newer lines I just came out with called Gamer. We still have the paper for Gamer, but we were out of these stickers. So really fun. I know if you've got, I shouldn't say just kids because I know a lot of adults, um, you know, and, and sometimes you are 45 and you have a boyfriend that still likes to occasionally play, play video games, but um, you chalk it up to the fact that he does it to be cool for your um, college and high school students and not that he just still plays video games. <laughs> but, so lots of people still play video games, so I, I shouldn't say if you've got teenagers that play, because obviously adults play as well too. But we've got gamer stickers back in. DIY, this is still a very fairly new line for them. We do still have the papers in stock. We were out of the stickers. So that line is back in stock, or I'm sorry, that sticker is back in stock and the line's still here. Next up, Bunnies in Bloom. So this was their Easter line. It's a very vintage -y, almost like Peter Rabbit kind of feel to it. So Bunnies in Bloom. That paper line, or collection kit is back in stock. Got a few of those here for you. All right, and some new stuff. So let's start with Land That I Love. This is a new one that was designed by Becky Moore. 
I do like Becky Moore's style. I've been following her for years. All right, so obviously patriotic themed here with land that I love. So we've got a cut apart page here. You're going to get two of each and look at the fun back on this one. So you've got two of each print. So here's some fireworks on this one. And then the back is just a good, almost solid red. Just a very summery little ice cream cones and popsicles on this print. Then the back, ooh, that's a good star. It's kind of, um, I want to put it next to white, white. So you can see it's like an off-white. It's not quite cream, but kind of an off-white is what they're using for this line. Here's a great strip sheet. Then on the back of that one, ooh, now this is a fun one. So you've got two six by eights. So if you like to do mini books, here are two great six by eight ones. If you're a card maker, these are also great too because they're scaled down prints for you that you can use um, for backgrounds. And then you've got some four by four cut aparts that'll make great um, page titles. They'll go great into your little slip ins as well. You can also fussy cut or cut these down for cards too. Some fun little bottle caps on this one. That's kind of neat. So bottle caps on one side and then the other. Oh, good fireworks. That's a great page. Good fireworks on that one. Again, just some fun patriotic icons on this side. And on the back at both of those, you've got a great plaid. So those are all the papers. And then finally, you've got your sticker sheet here. And I'm going to show you, they did something a little different. But you've got USA, you've got a fun little border, and those are little bottle caps to kind of mimic that paper. Lots of little tags in here, fun icons, America, happy 4th of July. And then look over here, all of this are little words. So everything from happy birthday America to watermelon, home of the brave, all American, traditions, sweet land of liberty. So fun little verbiage icons there. So that is the land that I love. And then there's also ephemera that goes with it as well too. Ephemera or a die cut pack, whatever you want to call it. See all the little bits and pieces you're getting in there. Another new one is a zoo. We very much needed zoo. Our zoo actually, zoo is right back here. You can see our zoo section is pretty much sold out. We do still have some of the last line that Simple Stories did called Into the Wild. That was really fun. We've still got um, most of the embellishments there. We've got just a couple other, um, not really with a line anymore, embellishments and then papers down below, but it's pretty much sold out. So I was really excited to see this new one. So this is gonna be fun for any pictures you've taken at the zoo. Also, if you've got someone in the family that did kind of a jungle themed, maybe baby shower or birthday party, this is gonna be fun for that as well. So again, this is called A Day at the Zoo. This is also designed by Becky Moore. We're gonna start with the cut apart page, all kinds of fun stuff here. A lot of these can be used even as cards as well. Shoot, that can go on a welcome sign to my home. How I feel some days, it's like a zoo there or a jungle. All right, so here's your cut apart. Flip it over, we've got a fun little wood grain on the back. All kinds of fun little zoo animals here. And then on the back, just another good basics. Um, looks almost like maybe it could be rocks or even like elephant skin. This is a fun one. This would be neat if you're doing like any kind of baby room decor. That would be a good background for that. If you're doing any kind of books, like an ABC book, it would be really fun for an ABC book. Just a fun little print on the back. Some fun little birds here. Oh, that's a fun back on that one with all the different leaves. I like that one. That is really fun. Oh, again, they've done kind of that six by eight and cut apart on this one. So you've got two different six by eights here. These are going to be perfect as well for scrapbooking for big photo mats. So kind of layering on the back of your page for photo mats. Then you've got some cut aparts here. 
There's the back on that one. And then just a fun little stripe here. And then a solid-ish on the back. Those are really good ones. Those are going to be ones that will carry over to other uses too. And then you've got all kinds of great little jungle animals, zoo animals, explore, roar, adventure. It's a zoo around here. Zebras, tigers, monkeys, elephants. Welcome to the jungle. All kinds of fun stuff here like happy birthday. We love the zoo. Zoo day. Look at that. Monkey see, monkey do. You are one cool cat. Some really good borders on here as well. This also has ephemera. That's going to go with it, too. So there's that one. So very fun. Next up, we've got a card kit, friends. All right, this one is called Gracias. So very fun, bright, bold colors. It's going to make eight different cards. These are certainly fun. I love the brightness on these. Oh, this one's so cute. Let's stick together. Just a fun little thinking of you. Cute little hola. Crawling by to say hi. So this one here is going to make eight different cards. Um, this one here has the different pages in it. You're going to cut apart. Open this up to show you what all you're going to get in here. All right, so in here what you've got on the back are your instructions okay and a lot of times you can just pretty much look at the pictures to figure out what you need to do but then here's your cut apart pieces this kit here gives you two of each paper there's your other ones to cut apart two of each paper again here's the other ones two of each paper again there's the back side you've got cards in here as well and your sticker sheet now you only need one of those papers but they give you two of each so whenever you get this card kit I always recommend getting the extra pack of stickers and sometimes friends we just we put it in there already for you because for a couple bucks more you're going to be able to make all those cards again and we do have the extra sticker sheets right here to go with those so fun little card kit remember Cinco de Mayo was coming up in May so this could just be a fun little thing maybe to send to some of your friends maybe you're having people over for a taco bar margarita party who knows just kind of getting together but this is definitely fun fun colors for this card kit so again it's the Gracias card kit and then don't forget if you pick up the card kit snag or ask for an extra set set of the stickers so you can make all your cards twice so we've got all that just came in then we've also restocked some of the stationary section so back in stock are the a2 card blanks so you've got 20 card bases in here printed and it's 80 pound paper so you've got 20 of those for just 329 so it's a good value on those then we also did the a6s which is kind of your mini slimline you've got 10 a6s and again this is on 80 pound for 329 we've got a6 card envelopes to match that you've got 10 in here for 329 and then some a2s we got 10 little a2s in here for 329 so working on stocking back up the stationary section easel cards this was something i gave out in the march kit clubs so we needed to restock the easel cards and those of you that are in the kit club that you loved your easel cards and you ordered more thank you so much they are they're just a fun little different kind of card i like them i mean you can even just use them as home decor they don't even have to be cards you could do them as a little sit about as well too so easel cards are back in stock folio number four that was one that we had sold out of so folio number four is back in stock and then this one here is a new one 
so often it is hard to find anything kind of faith-based. So this one here is called Prayers, and you've got a nice big Prayers stamp at the bottom, and then all kinds of smaller verbiage to go with it. Sent with love and prayers, prayers during this time of loss, sending you love and um, so this one was sent with love and, and this one's sending you love and prayers. God hears your prayers. Prayers are with you. Um, prayers for peace. Um, our thoughts and prayers, always in my prayers. Prayers for a speedy recovery. Love and prayers. Prayers and condolences. You are in my prayers, keeping you in our prayers. Um, prayers to you and your family with sympathy and prayers. Remembering you in my, uh, keeping you in my uh, for brighter days ahead, for comfort and strength from our family during this sad time of loss, for strength, for healing, sending hugs and So you've got all kinds of great different ways that you could use that prayers stamp. And then down here, last little thing we got in was also a prayers die. So you could use this on its own or you could use it in conjunction with this set. And you've got a inside one that says prayers and it is going to be the same size as that stamp was so then you can also use this outline if you wanted to stamp first and then just use the outline around your stamp so you've got a couple different options there but it can be used as is as well too all right so that is photo play with um, cards and envelopes some restocks on the easel cards and some mini books and then the new prayers and then we've got a new card kit new zoo new patriotic and then restock on our diy stickers gamer stickers and restocking the easter kit bunnies and bloom and then finally we've got some stuff from the vault so hannah loves prima but a lot of times she doesn't sit down to do the three hour Prima class. And so she had some amazing Prima products just sitting in the back room. And I told myself, well, you know what? One of these days I may go back and watch that video. And if I do, I can always reorder the product for myself then to make the stuff. So in the meantime, what I have for you is I have a fun little, it's called Mardi Gras glitter set super super cute, cute colors that is 1029 for six good size vials of glitter the little micro beans these are metallic micro beads again you've got six little containers of the micro beads in there and those are 1529 modeling paste this is an opaque matte modeling paste that is 629 heavy gesso. Gesso is great. If you don't have gesso in your stash, um, gesso is used a lot in mixed media, but I also like to use it on my chipboard pieces before I put any kind of color on them as well. So gesso is just a good thing to have in your stash. This is a heavy gesso and it's $5.29 for that. Some little rusty gears. These are $9.29 metallic wax in a white pearl that is $7.29 then we have some just little liquid acrylic paints here crimson and ochre this one here is really fun little art pebbles you can kind of see those in there they're big glass um, I think actually plastic but big plastic clear pebbles what else from oh prima here these fun little empty hourglasses or watch faces, whatever. Those are $5.99. And then we've got some fun little chipboard here. These are called Lace and Hearts. Got two of those. Just so, Diane, you've got it, my friend. So these are called Lace and Hearts. Those are $6.29 for those packs. These are called Old Plates. Whatever you are, be a good one. Be true to yourself always less perfection, more authenticity. That's really cute. So you've got three different plaques in there for $8.29. And those are nice and heavy too. Um, we've got some fun little Tim Holtz index labels. So this little pack of index labels here, these are no longer available. So if you don't have these, you're not, I don't think I can even order these for you anymore. 
Those are $6.29 for that pack. Then we've got um, this one here is just missing one card. So apparently I did start this class. So I took the one card out that I was using. So we've got $5.79 on that. This one here is missing just one trim. So we've got $5.29 on that. And then this one here um, is part of the adornments, cute little charms. Missing one there, so $6.29, and then it'll be 10% off on those. So some fun little things from the vault as well, too. All right, so just kind of kind of short and sweet today, which means we're going to get bombarded with order, orders probably all at once tomorrow and Thursday because that's just the way UPS likes to roll with us, I think. Um, so Photo Plague was new today. Um, and then I told you about the pre-orders, so I'll be working on getting those up and on the website as well, too. Um, and I think, I think that might be it. Um, i trying to think what else. Yeah. Uh, I think we might be good, friends. So today we worked on getting rewards cards out. We do those once a month. So if you were in and you filled up your fix, six box card with us this past month, um, those are going out in the mail today and tomorrow. So be checking your inbox for those. So those are always really fun. I think we had 20 of those we sent out today. So that was a good stack of rewards cards. So that's pretty awesome. So some of you are going to have some fun, some fun doodle bug money. And then don't forget to be watching the pre-order page on the website at www.doodlebuginc.com. That way you can see the new stuff that is coming in. Super excited about some of the releases. The show was not very big that I missed. Um, but still, I don't like missing shows. I like being able to connect with the manufacturers, see my friends. But as many of you know, it was senior prom this weekend. So definitely not a weekend to to leave at all. So I, that way I could see my, see my boys dressed up for once and actually looking good. So until next time, everybody, I am Hannah for the Doodlebug. Thank you so much for popping in and hanging out with me for a little bit and checking out what was new at the Doodlebug. I will see you guys later. Have a good evening. Take care. Bye.